Hey, what is up guys? Trev's iPod help here with a new video. And I know I just posted a jailbreaking video, um, I don't know, yesterday I think it was. Uh, music Snow Breeze, but um, I just came across Red Snow. And a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a video about this, so I will. And um, I am making it on um, Mac, but it's pretty much the same for both operating systems, whether it be Windows or Mac. And what you're going to need to do before we even go through the video, you're going to have to go on the link in the side of the description. I don't know which side it is on, but you know. Um, you're going to have to download your um, firmware for your device. So iPod Touch 2G, iPhone, iPod Touch 1G, iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS. This does not support the iPod 3rd generation. Sorry, guys. And you're going to have to download your firmware. And you're going to have to download the Red Snow, whether it be for Mac or Windows. I'll have two um, links. Also, I'm going to have a link called um, for logos. And with this new jailbreak, you can actually just choose your logos, like boot logos and recovery logos. And I'll get a little bit more into that as we go through the video. So, once you have these three things downloaded, you're going to want to go in your Red Snow folder and open up Red Snow. I'll exit out of this. All right, now you're gonna want to browse for your firmware. I saved mine to my desktop, so I'll click on that. It'll process it, and it'll ask you for this MC model, and just say no, unless it is an MC model. You should figure that out by going into settings and about, and it'll tell you. Then you're gonna want to click next. It'll connect to their server and download all the jailbreak data. Now, when you're here, you are, if it hasn't been jailbroken yet, you're going to want to click Install Cydia, but mine has already been jailbroken, so you want to click Already Pwned, but if it isn't jailbroken, click Install Cydia. Now, this is where the cool thing is. You can choose between Custom Boot Logos and Custom Recovery Logos. So, if you click on Custom Boot Logos, it'll let you browse for one. So, I'll go into my logos, which you should have downloaded, but you can use anything you want, pretty much. And you want to click it, and this is the preview of it. That's the one I'm going to be giving you guys if you want to use it. And just click open. Then you're going to want to click recovery logo. And you can click the recovery one. And it's a nice little pineapple and a pwned USB thing. And you can click open. Now, there's a little thing that you can check off called verbose mode. It's um like when you're booting up your iPod, it'll show your boot logo. But then it'll show all this code, like command prompt kind of thing, and as it's booting up. It doesn't slow down your boot up or anything. It just looks kind of cool. So I'm going to actually turn that on, and I'll show you guys at the end of the video what it looks like. Then you want to click Next. Now, it's going to say to connect your device to your computer. So that's what we're going to do. But, see, mine's connected right now. But you're going to have to put it into recovery mode. So pretty much all you're going to want to do is unplug it. Then you're going to want to turn it off. Let's do that right now. As you can see, I'm turning it off. And it'll take a little while to turn off, I guess. Okay, once it is turned off, you're going to want to hold the home button down. So hold it down like I am now and plug your iPod in, still holding the home button. And you should get this. This thing right here, and on your computer, it should be starting to upload all the jailbreak stuff. And then you will get the downloading jailbreak data thing on your iPod. So I'll just hold it up here so I can show you guys. It's pretty simple, like if you're on the computer, it'll just be uploading all this stuff. Now mine just says finish on the computer so I'll just click finish. It'll close out of red snow and all you're going to want to do is turn your attention over to the iPod which should be saying downloading jailbreak data and a little spinny wheel in the bottom. Now it's really simple. It shouldn't take too long. It might take a bit longer if you were to actually jailbreak it, but mine's already jailbroken. 
Now it should have a little pineapple on it saying flashing in OR and stuff like that. Now if you haven't already, check out my other videos, my jailbreak videos. If you prefer Black Rain or whatever. Personally, my favorite so far has always been Red Snow, and that's the one we're using right now. So it's really simple. I have a couple jailbreaks for the 3.1.2 firmware, but this is by far my favorite. Most easiest I would say. Now it'll it just says a bunch of stuff and it'll go through it. It's actually one of the easiest jailbreaks out there I find. Now if it's rebooting see this is verbose mode right here. See all the code and stuff? Since I chose my custom boot logo and if you've done that, if you chose verbose mode I guess, it should come up with all this um stuff. But if you haven't, you should just be seeing your custom boot logo right now. And if you didn't choose your custom boot logo you should just be seeing a little apple sign. But I kind of like verbose mode, kind of. It's kind of a nice touch to the iPod. And yeah, it might take a little while to reboot on the first time that you've done it. So I'll just wait it out here with you guys. And yeah, it's done. So I'll just type in my passcode here. And. I still have all my applications that I had before. So if you just want to change your boot logos really quick, you can do that. And you won't lose any of your applications. But if you're a first time um, jailbreaker, I would say, so you're new to this, just click install Cydia on the Red Snow application. And um, yeah, you're done. Pretty much. Super easy. So if you want, you can try this out right now maybe you're already doing it I don't know and um, go ahead and download my the logos that I posted I will post in the description I like them they're one of my favorite logos the little pineapple and the thing pretty cool so guys don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video